In this video, an Arduino library will be written for Mac 7219 8-digit 7-segment display. The library can be used to display text and numbers. This circuit diagram shows the interfacing of the Mac 7219 display with the Arduino. The circuit will be used to demonstrate some of the examples available in the library. This is the folder structure of the library. The library is called Mac 7219 7 segment display, which has uh, the examples folder and the uh, source file, header file, and the keywords files. The library has five functions. Function initialize will initialize the Mac 7219 IC. It has one argument which sets the brightness of the display. The value is between 0 and 15. Function clear will clear the 8-digit display. Function character has two arguments. The first argument is the digit at which the character will be displayed. This is digit 8, 7, 6, and so on. Second argument and between single quotation is the character that will be displayed. Function number with decimal point has two arguments. The first argument is the digit uh, location and the second argument is the number to be displayed between 0 and 9 with the decimal point visible. Finally function number is similar to number with decimal point with the decimal point off. Now we look at the files of the library, the header, the source file and the uh, demo sketches. We begin with the header file we create this class which has the same name as the library name. The class has the public members and the private members. Within the public members we declare the constructor which has the same name as the class. The constructor has three uh, variable arguments uh, that indicates the connection of the Mac 7219 display with the Arduino pins. So the this will initialize the connection of the data pin, the chip select, and the clock pin. The class also has five public methods, which are functions that can be accessed by the user of the library. The class has five private members. Now, the first three members are variables, and the last two members are functions. These are only accessible from within the class itself. They are not available to the user of the library. Now we look at the source file which is used to define the constructor and the methods declared in the class library. We begin with the constructor so this is the definition of the constructor. The constructor is used to declare objects and here the constructor has three arguments which is used to initialize the object that indicates the connection of the Mac 7219 data, chip select, and the clock connection to the pins of the Arduino. Now we look at the definition of the public methods. This is the definition of function initialize. We send the appropriate bytes in order to set the brightness level and to turn on the Mac 7219 display. This is the definition of function clear. So we are sending eight zeros in order to clear the eight digit display. This is the function definition of function number and this is for function number with decimal point and function character. Next we have the definition of the private methods. We have uh, function write which is used to send the command byte and then the data byte when the chip select pulse is available and function SPI send is used to shift out the byte data or command one bit at a time to the Mac 7219. To learn more on how to program the Mac 7219 display, I highly recommend watching my video on programming the display using assembly language. A link to the video is available in the description. After we installed the library in the Arduino IDE, we have access to some examples inside the library. We begin with the first uh, demo sketch, which gives us a count from 0 to 9999. 9, 9, 9. 
So here in the sketch we are including our library and here we are declaring the object display and indicating the connection of the data chip select and the clock lines. Within the setup function we initialize the max 7219 and set the brightness level to 1 and then we clear the display. Inside the loop function we display the word count equals and then using this nested for loop we display the count from 0 to 9999. The count speed is controlled by this delay function where we have a 10k pod connected to analog line A5 of the Arduino and using the map function we remap the value to 50 to 1000 meaning that the count speed will be as fast as 50 millisecond and as slow as one second. In this next example sketch we display temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor. First we include our library and then we include the DHT library. We declare the object DSP and then we declare object DHT which indicates that we have a DHT22 sensor connected to digital pin 5 of the Arduino. Inside the loop function and every two seconds we get the temperature from the sensor and display it on the MAX7219. Then get the humidity and display it on the module. In future videos, more libraries will be created for other devices. Thank you for watching.